Okay, this is my tube Tesla coil. The secondary is uh, 6 inches by about 25 inches. 30 gauge wire, lots of little fine turns. Got about 30 turns of uh, 10 gauge primary wire. Uh, and about 25 turns of the tickler coil, the grid coil. You notice that I got the grid coil wound uh, low to keep it out of the uh, arc over from the secondary. There's the there's the uh, sorry mosquito just bit me. There's the capacitors to for the primary coil, and then there's the tube right there. It's a I'll zoom in here a little bit. It's a 3CX3000 uh, low mu, heavy duty, a flying lead thing. Runs on a seven and a half volts, 50, 60 amps. There's the filament transformer. There's the current shunt, the current transformer for the ammeter. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Okay, here's my. Uh, my big uh, dual parallel variac to uh, power the thing with. There's my Hewlett Packard O scope. Here's the little pole transformer that runs it. This is a 7200 uh, 5kW job. And then around back here, there's the high voltage probe that we're going to look at the grid with. And then there's the cooling fan to blow air through the tube. Here's a close-up picture of a spare tube that I have. Uh, you notice that it, it, it's got the heat sink radiator up there at the front and then the, the center electrode there is the grid and then there's the two filament leads. Like I said, the filament draws about 60 amps. You can see the size of the wire there, about the size of my little finger. That's a spare tube that I keep around for it. Here's the uh, grid leak re resistor. The uh, thing gets pretty hot, so I've got this high wattage resistor, 3 or 400 watt resistor. And it's about 4 or 5K, I guess, uh, total. See, I've got it tapped at, at a, a short distance. So here's kind of an overview. Oops, I'm backing up here gently. Here's kind of an overview of the Tesla coil and the Variac and, uh, and everything. So, Now there's kind of an overview of the whole thing set up, ready for the test. Okay, here's my big vacuum tube Tesla coil operating at very low power. In fact, it's got about an eighth of an inch of Corona showing on it right now. Uh, looking at it, and it's operating at... Put the cursor on top of the waveform there. 85 kilocycles. So what's going on here is is that at low power settings the fundamental of the secondary that's the secondary has very high Q because it's a whole lot of real fine wire we have to tune the primary a little bit under the secondary's frequency to make it uh, work real real good once we load the whole met the whole system down by drawing sparks okay now I'm gonna turn power up now and you're going to watch it switch over to its its fundamental frequency. There it went. Now I'm going to turn it up to full power. We'll show it here in just a second. It's sitting here roaring away with about three foot sparks. Now you notice that it shows it shows not just the fundamental frequency on the left. But it also shows a harmonic that shows up on the right, and it's at, uh, oh, let's see, uh, 
it's at about 222 kilocycles. Whereas this, the main, the main amount of energy is right here at about 110 kilocycles. Okay. Got to turn it down here and let it cool off. Okay, now here's the O-scope looking at the grid on the tube. Uh, we've got to run a lot of negative voltage on the grid to switch the tube off. So uh, here we go, we're going to turn up to real low power. Putting out about a 6 or an, or an 8 inch spark now. Okay, now the scope is set to 1000 volts per graticule. So let's get it all lined up here. All right, and we've got top line on that graticule. So with it running right about there, that's about 1,500 volts. Uh, negative bias generally applied to the tube. Of course, that's a whole that's a whole 60 cycle. Now we're going to turn it up. Where it's just roaring away here, and you see the. Uh, we have a little problem in that we get a little bulge, a positive in it, but we're 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, almost 5,000 volts negative, and we're drawing about 40 amps out of the wall here at 240 volts. Okay. Turn it way down. Okay, here we got it blazing away. Uh, it's putting out about, about a six inch spark here, uh, eight inch spark maybe. Here's my uh, light bulb so we can use it like the eye of the storm there. Then we make little, little, little strings in it, hold it up close to it. See the feather forms on, on the end of it. Don't have much power going through it. Won't light it up. Okay, so we'll turn it up some. There's about two feet long. There's about three feet long. Charge to you, but it's hot and it, and it burns, so uh, not really much fun. All right. 